hey guys welcome back to my channel mi tutorial in this video i am going to teach you the 15 most used excel formula so let's get started so the first one is a vlookup formula i have a sample data set here and i have a city name here and let's say i want to pull up the sales value against the city by using the vlookup i'm going to type is equals to followed by vlookup you can type the tab key to complete the formula or you can write the entire formula and open the bracket so it's asking you to enter the vlookup value so in this case it's going to be the city uh, i can just do this okay and it's comma it's asking you to enter the table array from where we are we need to fetch the data so we're looking up from city and i need the sales volume which is in the second column so I'm going to hit comma. Co column index number is going to be two in this case because it is the second column, and my range lookup value is going to be zero, which means that I need an exact match. And click on enter. So basically, what this will do is it will look up for Bangalore in this table and return the first value from the from a from the sales column. And you can drag this formula down to get the uh, value lookup values for the other cities for example delhi delhi because value is 654 so please remember that this particular formula will only give you the first result so uh, delhi is repeated twice here as you can see but it will always give you the first result all right so we are done with the vlookup formula now so let's get to the second formula which is a sum formula I'm going back to my sheet and I have a sample data set here it has city sales volume and date and let's say I would want to see the total of sales uh, and the sales volume so I'm just going to type in total here and I'm going to enter the formula is equals to sum open bracket so it's asking you to enter number one number two so you can do this comma this comma this alternatively to make to make this formula work faster you can just drag this down till here and close the bracket and there you have the entire sum the other way of looking at the total sum value is by just dragging this here and you can see the sum value here which is exactly as this and the same thing let's say uh, you want to uh, you know sum up the volume there's another shortcut which you can use you can just type in alt and plus button which will basically create the formula for you automatically hit enter and it will give you the value here so this is a tip for you guys i hope you guys i hope this is going to help you so going back to my sheet here so we've finished with the sum formula as well and i'm going to teach you how to use the sum if formula so let's go here right so we looked at the uh, vlookup uh, formula here but uh, the vlookup formula is only giving us the uh, first value but let's say now we want to uh, sum the uh, total sales for this particular city so how shall we do it so in this particular case i'm going to use the formula which is sum if i'm going to type this open bracket so it's asking for you to enter range and i'm going to select the city this range where i'm looking at and say comma my criteria is going to be this column which is the city here above and comma it's asking me to enter some range so basically it's asking me what should i sum so i'm going to select the sales value here i'm going to close the bracket and hit enter so basically this has some all of the sales value against bangalore so now if you see bangalore is here as well as here so the total value here is 45576 which is just repeated here and you can simply drag this formula down to create the sum for Delhi and for Kolkata. Right, so now we are done with the sum if formula as well. Now, okay, so now let's get on to our next formula, which is the I'm 
going back to my data sheet here so let's say you want to count how many rows are there in this particular uh, data set so i'm going to type in is equals to count and open the bracket and i'm going to select this column here and close the bracket and press the enter button so it tells me that there are nine rows in here so make a note that this particular formula only counts the numbers and does not count any alphabet if there are any for this in this particular case if you see the sales uh, cell has not been counted and in case if i change the cell here to alphabet that's going to change my number as well so make a note of that all right so now let's move on to our next formula which is a count if formula so i let's say i want to count how many rows are there for bangalore of a delhi of a kolkata so i'm going to type in is equals to count i'm going to go down and press the tab button for the uh, auto formula to complete so it's asking me to enter range so i'm going to enter the range here which is the city column and my criteria is going to be the city which is here i'm going to press enter so it is telling me that bangalore is repeated twice in this particular data set i'm going to drag drop drag and drop this down so delhi is repeated twice kolkata is repeated twice let's say what happens if i change this delhi to kolkata my Kolkata count is going to become three and Delhi has been reduced to one. All right, so now let's move on to our next formula, which is the count A formula. So count A formula is a formula which counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Uh, now, before I start with this, let me actually uh, create a data set so that I can work with this formula. So I'm going to create some empty cells between this. And uh, let's say you're working with a huge data set and you want to see how many rows are actually filled with the data. And uh, in this particular case, we can use the count A formula to identify that. So I'm going to use the count A and click the entire column here close the bracket and hit enter so that's going to tell me that you know even though there are 13 rows here but there are only 10 rows which has the data so this is 3 this is 7 9 and 10 you can see the count here so you can use this formula to sort of count the uh, number of rows which has the data excluding the blank Okay, I'm just going to delete this so that I can work on my next formula. I'm going to delete this as well. Going back to my sheet. So we are done with count A as well. All right, so next formula is, our, is the average formula. I'm going to go here. Now, let's say I want to find out what's my average sales and my average sales volume. I'm going to expand this a little okay so i'm going to type in average which is here i'm going to press tab to auto complete it now um you can select the entire column here and close the bracket and say enter so my average sales is 2,90,016 and i'm going to do the same thing for my uh, sales volume as well so i'm going to select this I'm going to close the bracket and hit enter. So my average sales volume is 30.33. Okay, so now let's move on to our next formula, which is the concatenate formula. Basically what this formula does is it will combine two or more cells. So, and I'm going to start with is equals to concatenate. So it's asking me to enter text one, text two. So I'm, let's say I'm just for an example sake, I'm going to concatenate Bangalore and the corresponding sales volume. So I'm going to type Bangalore, comma, 
and then I'm going to type in sales. I'm going to hit enter. So basically what this has done is it has concatenated the Bangalore and the sales column and I can just drop drag and drop this down to create the other values as well all right so now let's move on to our next formula which is the if formula so this formula is basically a formula which will give you a true or a false result and you can customize it according to your wish so let's say if I want to create a formula to check if this particular cell here until here is Bangalore or not. So I'm just going to type in if formula logical test if my this cell is equals to Bangalore then return to me so if it is true it should return as yes if it is not true then it should return to me as no i'm going to uh, close the bracket and hit enter so this has returned yes because the cell a2 value is equals to bangalore and what happens if i drag and drop this down so it tells me that this is not bangalore this is not bangalore and whenever it's bangalore it tells yes so you can play around with your formula and uh, according to the data set that you have and customize it the way you want it you can change this to uh, say whatever you want let's say you want this as true and you want this as false you can do that as well and when you drag it that's going to change to true and false so it basically depends what your need is and you can customize this formula accordingly let's move on to our next formula which is our if error formula so basically uh, uh, this particular formula is going to uh, tell you uh, let me actually use an example of uh, we look up here let's say uh, so i have bangalore mumbai delhi kolkata and chennai let's say i add another uh, city which is um chennai let me get rid of chennai from here all right so what happens is if i use a v lookup in this case and select this cell comma and get me sales from chennai this is going to return an na for me and let's say we do not want to see this na so in this case we can use the if error formula so i'm going to type in if error go the select the, uh, the formula here press the tab button so this is the value that i want uh, and i'm going to press comma so what value do you want if there's an error if there's an na or if there is some other kind of an error so what value do you want so basically i would want an hyphen here and press enter so that is going to change my value from na to hyphen you can change this to value to whatever you want let's say i want this to be as a city not firm you can do that as well so when you drag and drop the formula you will find the sales volume for delhi and kolkata but not for chennai because obviously chennai is not existing in this and you can play around with the message that you want in this particular formula all right so now let's move on to our next formula which is the now formula now formula is basically uh, which gives you the uh, time and date and time so it's very simple formula i'm going to just type in now open and close bracket and hit enter so this is basically giving me today's time and date in this particular format all right now let's moving on let's move on to our next formula i'm just going to change the format of this so i'm going to use the show you the today formula today formula is uh, so like the now formula today formula is just going to return the date but will not return time along with the formula so that's the difference between the now and today formula
now formula gives you date and time but today formula just gives you the date and does not return the time done with this now text formula this is uh let's say uh so i have a date here and I'll, I'll actually take this example here i'm going to delete this data here so i have dates here so let's say i only want to see a uh, month of this particular date so i'm going to type in you can i'm going to type in uh, text open bracket and this is the value that i want i'm going to press comma and it's asking me to format text so basically uh, we need to enter let's say if i want to see this particular date as mmm and yy format i'm going to enter mmm hyphen yy format i'm going to close the bracket and hit enter so this has you know changed the date into the text format into the format that i wanted just drag and drop the formula so you have october 17 step 17 but we don't need the date in this particular Okay, you can uh, use this formula to do multiple things based on your requirement let's move on to the next formula now which is a min formula so let's say your manager asks you to find out what is the minimum sales that has happened in this particular data set so i'm going to type in min open the bracket and i'm going to select the column here close the bracket and hit enter and you can see the minimum sales that has happened is 654 from delhi so you can use this formula to identify the minimum number in a particular column or a row all right now moving on to our next formula which is the last and the max formula so just like min this is the opposite this is going to uh, uh, find out the maximum sales in a particular data set so i'm going to close the bracket and hit enter so maximum sales is from kolkata and this is the value so this was the 15 most used excel formula so if you are a beginner i'm sure this is going to help you um please hit the like button if you have learned something new today also consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos thank you so much for watching